Hello guys, it's your boy MZ, also known as Kalido Vids, and today we've got the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max in the Alpine green colour. This should have been one of the launch colours and for the guys, this army or girls, this army green colour is quite attractive. I'm going to unbox this in a couple minutes for you guys and yeah, let's get into this. Pro Max Alpine Green We've got this thing to tear off first Right, so this is paper not like Plastic sealed like it used to be kind of miss that but you know with environment and everything this is probably Probably one of those things where it just saves Some carbon emissions in some kind of way reduces it but hey, oh, this phone is beautiful. Ooh, I look at that. Look at that. Let me not drop it. Man. But yeah, I let me make sure my hands aren't oily or nothing. Just put a bit of oil. All right. Okay. Wait. Let me take care. I'm gonna take this out. I don't even want to put it on the bed. Let me let me balance it here for now. Okay, so this box is incredibly slim and we've got Apple stickers, let's go. I wish this was a Alpine green color to match for Alpine green iPhone. But hey, we got our SIM ejection tool and you know, standard stuff. Let me put this all, all beautifully back. I'm actually really excited to have this phone in hand. Seeming, or well seeing as I record all my videos on phone anyway. But yeah, here's our USB-C to lightning cable. I can't lie, this is essential because I can't get enough of these, come on now. Um, but yeah, there's no power brick. There's no power brick. With this phone that costs over a bag, this phone costs £1,149 and that's just for the 128GB model, the base model, quite like Apple, they're too pricey nowadays. But I let me get the phone out. Yeah, this phone's set mm, pretty. It's got that US dollar kind of green like, what did Flossy Cars oh, call it, called it. That, that shmoney green. This is that shmoney green right here. But yeah, so let me undo this slowly. I need to get a case and screen protector for this ASAP. Aye, no, 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 look at the size of that. Right now I'm using the 12 Pro, yeah? Like, that's a sick phone, but it's a lot smaller, but... Aye, no! Aye, no, no, I'm rating this. Oh, look, I'm starting to get my finger... I knew my hands were oily, look. I'm starting to get my fingerprints all over it. Come on now. iPhone, like, it's just glossy, like. It's beautiful, but it gets fingerprints too easily. That's what I don't like about stainless steel. But hey, it's stronger and it does more premium. So let me power this baby on. All my OGs know that I've been an Apple fan for so long. You'll hardly ever catch me with something that's not from Apple, I'll be real. Hey, look, it's turned on. Look at that tiny ass notch. Look at that tiny ass notch. Hey. Let me, oh, the refresh rate, 120 hertz. This is like the new MacBook Pro. Beautiful. All right. Set language, United Kingdom, as standard. Quick start, okay, all right, cool. Um, I'm gonna, you know, transfer a lot of, of my data from the phone I'm using to record now, so give me a minute. 
All right, so I've got my iPhone 13 Pro Max all set up. I've even put this case on it. I put this camera lens protector on it too. And I've got a screen protector on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've been using this phone for about a day now. And I can tell you for a fact that this phone is not a one-handed phone. Unless you've got some really big hands and you're willing to just like, like stretch all over the place and like just move the hand a bit up and down around it, then this phone isn't a one-handed phone. I miss my 12 Pro because of that. However, this big screen is beautiful to look at every day. The speakers on this sound a bit better than the ones on my 12 Pro. The earpiece is actually up here. And I believe that's why this notch is actually smaller because they finally managed to fit the earpiece up here um, as well as condensing the face ID internals. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys a couple of cool features that I've played around with. So um, first thing, cinematic mode. This mode is sick, but I'm just going to hold it like that. I don't know how it look like too much, but it should be like a nice kind of blur in front of a camera. But yeah, this mode is sick. If I do it front facing, then obviously you lot can see that. So I was blurred the background like all around here. It's pretty sick. But yeah, no, I like this phone. This phone here is gonna improve the video quality of all my future YouTube videos. This depth sensing things are sick. I'm with a LiDAR stand there. That's made cinematic mode and that's happening. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. That is beautiful right there. But yeah, so um, I played around with it for a little bit. It's fast, it's snappy, it's like my Troll Pro, but better. For 120 hertz refresh rate, how smooth it is. You guys can't see how smooth it is on camera. You're watching that fair yet, yes. But this 120 FPS, 120 hertz display is so smooth and it's just amazing to look at, amazing to scroll through. But yeah, anyway, that's my first impressions and an unboxing of this iPhone 30 Pro Max. You have a brand new Alpine green color. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I've got future uploads coming and I'm going to try and be more consistent as I always say, but you'll see the difference now with my video, with my video schedule. But yeah, so peace guys. Oh,